Hi everyone and welcome to another episode of League Out Loud. Don't mind, my location is different. I work with natural lighting a lot and so natural lighting sometimes is not so awesome in certain places of my room. So I'm sitting on the floor in front of my bed, yay. Moving on to what I'm actually talking about today and that is LCS, LCS, LCS. I'm not going to be covering in so much detail every weekend of LCS. However, this weekend was the first and a very exciting weekend so I wanted to highlight a few things that happened this weekend. First thing I want to mention is that Riot banned out the new Lux skin from the LCS tournaments as well as about 50 other skins. Now I think they just did this because they didn't want anyone to have an unfair advantage over the fact that they chose a certain skin and some of the skins are dramatically different and the animations are super different than the actual original champion skins are and so I think that's why they did that. Next, I want to actually talk about the matches from this weekend. So, starting off with North America, it was TSM versus CLG, and this is one of the most long-time rivalries of the scene, and so everyone was very excited for this match. CLG ended up winning this match, which was a surprise to a lot of people, but just because of how strong TSM was last year, and now CLG is definitely looking really strong. They have Link as their AP mid, and he performed super well this weekend. I'm very proud of CLG's ability to step up and beat TSM. Also, a side note, apparently Hotshot GG played the entire match without any runes, and that's just kind of impressive because a lot of people go into game and they're like, oh, I forgot I have the wrong runes and masteries, we can't win, GG. Well, it can be done, folks. Hotshot GG can do it, so can you. Curse performed extremely well this weekend by not losing any of their matches. They won all three, which is super impressive. They have definitely proven that they are one of the top teams to be feared in the North America scene. Doublelift actually tweeted, My bum still hurts from the pounding curse gave us yesterday. They are looking very strong, especially Voibro. That just goes to show how strong curse is looking. Congratulations to them. They deserve it. They've been working really hard and I'm proud of them. Now for the EU scene, starting off with the fact that Shox is now the host for ESL. And I would like to say I think she's doing a fantastic job. She's never tried hosting before and I watched this entire weekend. And she wasn't messing up. She wasn't tripping over her words. And she looked super natural and I don't know. I'm just proud of Shock. she's doing amazing. As far as the matches go, the first match that was played was Fnatic vs SK, and Fnatic came out on top. SK was actually ahead throughout a lot of the majority of the game, and somehow Fnatic was able to force a team fight, win it, push the Nexus, game over. It was it happened really quickly, and Pecky actually got the most valuable player for that day because his performance in that game as well as a game after that as well. Now this game wasn't as exciting for the viewers, but it was extremely exciting for EG because they versed Gambit Gaming, and they pretty much stomped them. I'm not sure what was wrong with Gambit Gaming that day, but they picked an Udyr jungle, and it just did not work out for them. They also left a Nivea open for Froggen, and that's just something you should know better not to do is to leave a Nivea open for Froggen because he will take it and he will take advantage and he will take the game, which is exactly what happened. So congratulations to EG for beating out Gambit Gaming. Now, another sad story for Gambit Gaming, the Giants actually beat them and that was probably the most uh, game-changing exciting match of the season because nobody expected Giants to be able to beat Gambit Gaming because they're a newer scene they're a newer team in the scene and at least the pro scene and they're not used to the nerves and the pressures of competing in these types of tournaments and so the fact that Gambit Gaming's been around for so long and they lost it was just uh, it was definitely surprising for a lot of people, so 100 million congratulations to the Giants because they just proved that they are definitely worthy of being in this tournament this season. Alright, well that's all the coverage I wanted to talk about from LCS this week, and thank you so much for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if you like it, and be sure to subscribe if you want to see more videos from me every Monday doing my League Out Loud series. And I actually did a couple Dead Space playthroughs this weekend because I wanted to give playthroughs a try, so I will link to those down in the description below if you want to check them out. If you don't, that's totally okay too. Um, Alright, well that is it, and I will see you guys next week. Bye!